Hey guys, this is the Apple Pope here today, and I have some very useful tweaks for your on screen keyboard. Now, um, to install these tweaks, you're gonna need two um, Cydia sources. I uh, will put them in the link description, and I'll also put it on the screen right here. So, once you install and those two sources, the first review I'm gonna do is Blord. Now, what Blord does is it makes your, scheme, your screen uh, keyboard black which is you know I like it because I have a black iPhone and it also matches with it and, and it's not a bright screen which bothers your eyes let's say you wake up in the morning so let's go into notes and I'll show it to you guys as you can see I have a black keyboard right here and it works fine you know no trouble or anything like that now this one is called Blord and it's a big boss uh, source now the next tweak I have for you guys is called action menu now what action menu does is let's say I'm typing something let's type the now if you want to copy and paste you know it only gives you two options so if I type on this what action menu does is it gives you select select all copy all and there's an sorry about that and it gives you more menus Oops, let's get that going. Wow, that's a fail. You get favorites today, send to pasty, look up. Now, what this means is that, let's say, select all, and I put copy. And now let's select it again. I go here and let's see history. And it gives you a history of stuff that you have copied. Now, this is very useful in case you copy some links and you just want to have it here and paste it, paste one there, and, and then you wouldn't have to go back and copy another link from Safari. And you can also clear it. Whoops. Let's go back and let's go back to favorites. And there you go. It clears. And there are many more options here that you can do. You can define the word, which is pretty cool but this is also already on iOS 7 and it gives you more stuff so this one is called again action menu now the next tweak I have for you guys is called swipe selection now this is a very 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 useful tweak that I have let's say I type the and I'll put the apple poke Uh, whoops, let's go back and put the apple pulp. Now, let's say I want to go in between uh, these spaces I left there and just put it together. So, instead of having to try and guess to go there, what you can easily do is swipe on your keyboard like this, which makes it very, very useful. So, I can go there and delete, and then let's get the camera to focus. And then I can just go back there and hit delete again. And I find this very, very useful. Also, let's see, that is delete that. Put a capital letter. Let's delete the A. Put a capital letter. Simple as that. Instead of, you know, you having to use the magnifying glass, you can easily just swipe on your keyboard. Now, let's go into settings. And let's go all the way down and swipe selection now this gives you you know many um, options you want to do I just left it how it was and you can change the swipe speed sensitivity swipe area there are many options and you guys can play around with that and that one again is called swipe selection now the next one I have which is another very very useful tweak is called um, uh, showcase and now this tweak allows you to see when you have it on capitals and when it's lowercase. I personally think that when and the iOS 7.1.1 at least came out or you know something that should be integrated already in your keyboard, that if you're on uppercase, you know, 
this should be uppercase and when you're on lowercase it should already be like that but this tweak allows you to see the difference Q and then that's capital Q lowercase w capital W whether is if you don't have this tweak then it will just stay regular all of them will look just you know like this I find this very useful because sometimes you know I'm typing and as you can see right there it's covering whether I'm capital or not and this just tells me automatically that every keyboard you know I mean that every letter is uppercase or lowercase now the last one I have which is another very very useful tweak is that is the auto correction now this one is called manual correct now what manual correct does let's say I wanna just type in uh, let's say uh, look and you wanna type it with three um, with three letter O's right now you can just put space and it won't change it but you can tap on it and there you go look whether as if you didn't have manual correct and you wanted to put look uh, let's see L O O O K or like that it will automatically switch to look and I find that useful because sometimes what autocorrect does is say I'm typing food it'll switch back to good I don't know if you guys had that there you go see even gives you the option to go to good food and sometimes autocorrect does that like uh, this example I'm typing I let's go back I just ate some food and it wouldn't make sense if I went, if I went back and I and it said I just ate some food, some good, you know, and I really hate it when that happens and I have to go back and change it back to food. Whether as this application called Manual Correct um, lets me automatically just leave it like that, which is pretty cool. And also in the settings, if I go back, um, Manual Correct, you know, you can enable it everywhere tap to correct, add a manual corrections, ignore corrections, you know you could put the a word here and you know put it as like it won't be corrected so to just ignore it and there are many options here that you guys can mess around with. So those are the top tweaks for on-screen keyboard and you can download them on Cydia and please like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching guys. Peace.